Um, it's kind of an interesting coincidence for <laughs> Tuesday because the title of the lesson is Ken Dahata Air, which is what color is. <laughs> um, it's actually, uh, color is only a piece of what they're doing in the lesson. It's not really the main point of the lesson. What I'm really trying to do is cover a couple things that I think are important in the language that we've actually, none of this should be completely new, but we've hit it at various points in the past. Um, but these are uh, things that I've noticed are the, are the sticking points in all the little quizzes I give out. So um, I'm going to focus on really a uh, couple things. Uh, one is talking about what you have, so possession. And um, you notice I usually put one of those questions on every quiz. <laughs> um, and the other thing I'm going to look at is just how to say like mine and yours. And we're going to talk about colors and and uh, just to give us something to converse about, okay? So, let's see. We should put those out there. Okay, so ken da ta er is what color is it? The, the word uh, da is color. And okay. So first of all, we're going to talk about just how you say you have something, okay? And um, again, it's different in English, and I know that's been a sticking point on a lot of things, but this is a very important expression in Irish, not just to say that you have things, but you'll be using it for other stuff in the, as we go on later. Um, so the way you say to have something is you say that something is at someone, okay? And the thing is at whoever has it, okay? So if John has a cat, then you say ta kat ig shan. Ta kat ig shan. So ta means there is, kat is a cat, egg is at, shan is John. So ta kat ig shan. And everything here is going to change around depending on who you're talking about and when it happened and all that. So the word ta means is. If it, it, it's going to be different if you want to say will be, or if you want to say was, or would be. Um, if you ask a question is, or you want to say isn't, then that ta is going to change to something else, as we'll see. Um, obviously, whatever you have is going to change, so it might be a ka, it might be a madra, it might be an an, <laughs> okay, anything. Um, who has it can change, so it could be Sean, or it could be Kathleen, or it could be myself, and, and sometimes the, word's going to, the word egg is going to combine with it, okay? But the basic idea is, in Irish, to have something, to say that something is at someone. Okay. So Takat Igshan, John has a cat. Now if you want to say Mary doesn't have a cat, then a couple things change. Obviously we put Mary instead of Sean. But Ta is, means is, Neil means isn't. So the way you say Mary doesn't have a cat is isn't a cat and Mary. Okay. And if you understand the basic idea that the way you have something is is cat at someone, then the way you don't have it is there isn't cat at someone. <laughs> okay. Neil caught Igmaira. Okay, Neil Kat Igmaira. Okay, and then the way you would ask, does someone have a cat, is you ask them, is there a cat at that person? Okay, so does Jim have a cat? And will Kat Igshemus? And will Kat Igshemus? Okay, so in the will part, the one that asks, is something? Okay, is it is its question? And if you want to say, doesn't Eve have a cat? Then you're asked, really, isn't there a cat at Eve? Not will Kat Igifa. Not okay. So all the, all the first words there, ta, neil, and will, and not will, are all variants of ta. Okay. One, ta means is, neil means isn't, and will means is as a question, and not will means uh, isn't, uh, is, isn't as a question. Okay. And of course in Irish you always answer um, back with part of the question when for yes and no's. So uh, the question on will, is there something? And the answer back is ta or neil. Okay, so the way someone asks you, and will cut ig Sean, does John have a cat? You're going to say ta or neil. Okay, because in Irish it's, is there a cat at John? And the answer is, is or isn't. Okay? So you, you say ta, and then could, would you say, is it she or he is she? Oh, we're going to actually get, oh, okay. uh, we'll get to that one okay. in a little bit here. But yeah, so. Um, So let's see, uh, let's try doing a little bit of work here. Okay, so if, uh, if you want to ask, uh, the word for a cup is kupan. 
So how would you say uh, John has a cup? Takupan Ikshan. Takupan Ikshan, okay. And how about uh, John doesn't have a glass? Glenn has a glass, so... Neil Glenna Ikshan. Neil Glenna Ikshan. Okay. Um, and you want to ask, does, uh, does Mary have a cup? Um, well, Kupan Igmaira. Okay, so is there a cup at Mary? Yeah. Okay. And then, uh, how would you say no? Neil. Neil. Okay. All right, so let's go to the second one now. And all we're going to do here, we're going to first of all talk about dogs instead of cats. So we have mother instead of cat there. Um, and now we're asking, did someone have something, okay? So did John have, a, or sorry, to say John had a dog, what you really say is, there was a dog at John, <laughs> okay? <laughs> so we go from there is a cat at John to there was a dog at John, okay? And the word for was is V. So V Madra Ikshan. V Madra Ikshan. Okay. And of course I made a mistake. Okay. That's number two B actually needs to be corrected, so for a second. So Cha is present and V is past. Yeah, and the negative number two B should be V Rev. Nirev Madra Ek Moira. So Nirev means it wasn't, so there wasn't a dog that married. Nirev Madra Ek Moira. Okay. <coughs> All right, and then the question to say wasn't or was there is Unrev. So did Jim have a dog? Unrev Madra Ek Shemus? Which is, was, was there a dog at Jim? And then, if you want to ask, didn't Eve have a dog? Nachrev Madra Eglifa. Nachrev Madra Eglifa. Okay. And the way you answer yes or no is you say was or wasn't. V or ni rev. V. Okay. So, how would you say, uh, how would you say, let's see, um, John did not have a house. Chaff is a house. Nirev Chaff Igshan. Okay? And how would you say uh, John had an apartment? Arasan is an apartment. So. Arasan? Arasan. V Arasan Right, V Arasan Igshan. Okay? And if I ask the question, Unrev? Chach Ikshan, how would you answer? Yeah. Nirev. Nirev. Okay. So there's a difference now. What's the difference between Neil and Nirev? And there's an answer. No. Right. Neil means doesn't have now, and Nirev didn't have, if it's one of these questions. Okay. So you would say Nirev, yeah. and then would you say, is it Shay? Shay for me? Or Shay? Apartment? <laughs> Oh, he had an apartment. yeah, I'm going to get to that, actually. Okay. I'll, we'll get to that in a second here, okay? Okay. Yeah, we'll kind of put it all together then. All right. Um, third one is for the future, okay? And that is if you want to say someone will have. You use it, for example, if you want to offer drinks. This is another way of offering drinks is to ask, will you have a drink, okay? So to say John will have a drink, the word for drink is joch. Joch. Um, so you say there will be a drink at John. Be joch and shan. Okay, and Mary won't have a drink. Ni ve joch and Myra. Ni ve joch and Myra. So ni ve there won't be. Joch is a drink and Myra. And to ask will Jim have a drink, the question will in the future is ame. So will ame joch and shemus. Ame joch and shemus. Okay, and won't Eve have a drink? Nach me joch and Eva. Not Not mm -hmm. And uh, the way you answer yes or no is either will be or won't be. So, be or nive. Be or nive. Okay. 